billionaire tycoon, Ross Perot, who ran twice for presidential candidate, dead at 89. Ross Perot, the billionaire tycoon who mounted two unsuccessful third-party presidential campaigns in the 1990s, died Tuesday, family spokesman James Fuller confirmed. He was 89. Perot died after a five-month battle with leukemia, Fuller said. A billionaire by his mid-50s after he sold a controlling interest in the data processing business he founded, Electronic Data Systems Corporation, to General Motors for $2.5 billion, Perot mounted one of the most successful third-party presidential candidacies in U.S. history in 1992. He garnered nearly 19% of the vote and finished third behind Bill Clinton and incumbent President George H.W. Bush. Perot directly challenged Clinton and Bush's support of the North American Free Trade Agreement during the election cycle, and argued the treaty would cause the loss of American jobs. H. Ross Perot was already a mega-successful businessman when he leapt into the American consciousness as an independent presidential candidate in 1992. His folksy manner... And I was down in Texas taking care of business, tending to my family. This situation got so bad that I decided I better get into it. And his laser-like focus on the economy... We have got to stop sending jobs overseas. ...made Perot one of the most successful third-party presidential candidates in U.S. history. He won almost 19 percent of the vote in 1992. From the beginning, Perot's campaign struck a chord with those seeking a third-party candidate. He threw his hat into the ring on CNN's Larry King Live. Number one, I will not run as either a Democrat or Republican, because I will not sell out to anybody but to the American people. And I will sell out to them. In a presidential debate, he attacked both Republican President George H.W. Bush and Democratic challenger Bill Clinton with equal vigor about the nation's debt. Now, it's not the Republicans' fault, of course, and it's not the Democrats' fault. And what I'm looking for is who did it. Perot also directly challenged both candidates' support of NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement. Perot feared it would cause the loss of American jobs. There will be a giant sucking sound going south. Perot's campaign against NAFTA continued beyond the presidential race. The Clinton White House responded with a challenge, a one-on-one -on -one debate with Vice President Al Gore, live on CNN with Larry King as moderator. Yeah, I'm, I'm listening. I haven't heard the answer, but go ahead. That's because you haven't quit talking. Well, I'm, I'm listening. Ronnie, How do you stop it without that? Are you going to listen? Work on it. It was watched by millions of viewers. Just over a week later, NAFTA passed both the House and Senate. It took effect on January 1st, 1994. Ross Perot was born in 1930 in Texarkana, Texas, where his father ran a cotton mill. He graduated from the Naval Academy in 1953 and spent four years at sea. He started electronic data systems in the early 1960s. It later became one of the world's largest technology services companies, processing data. Perot became a billionaire in 1984 when he sold a controlling interest at EDS to General Motors for two and a half billion dollars. A couple of years later, he started a second data processing company, Perot Systems Corporation. It sold to Dell in 2009 for almost $4 billion. In 1969, President Richard Nixon asked Perot to seek better treatment for U.S. prisoners of war in North Vietnam. He traveled to Laos, where he met with ambassadors from Russia and North Vietnam. Perot made headlines again in 1979. When two EDS employees were taken hostage during a revolution in Iran, he organized and paid for a successful private mission to rescue the men and bring them home. Perot ran for president again in 1996, but this time he was barred from the debates. So he bought network airtime and broadcast a series of infomercials to explain his personal vision for America. Perot won only 8% of the vote in 96. Wolf Blitzer, CNN, Washington. created the Reform Party, and the following year received 8% of the vote in the presidential election as the party's candidate. 
Perot also received national attention for his efforts during the Vietnam War to create better conditions for U.S. prisoners of war. He traveled to Laos, where he met with ambassadors from Russia and North Vietnam, and was awarded the Medal for Distinguished Public Service by the Department of Defense in 1974 for his efforts. In 1979, when two EDS employees were taken hostage during a revolution in Iran, he organized and paid for a successful private mission to rescue the men and bring them home. In business and in life, Ross was a man of integrity and action, a true American patriot and a man of rare vision, principle and deep compassion. He touched the lives of countless people through his unwavering support of the military and veterans and through his charitable endeavors, Fuller said in a statement. Ross Perot will be deeply missed by all who loved him. He lived a long and honorable life.